Hello, bonjour, ooh la la, and all that. Welcome to another beer review. Now, we are off to France. We have got a French beer. We are off over the channel. We have um, a blonde one, a blonde beer from, um, I'm not too sure where it's from. Uh, haven't got a clue. Brasserie des Sources. There you go. 6.5%. It is Belle Rose. Or Belle Rose. It's French, I think. Uh, yeah, it is French. 6.5% uh, ABV. There you go. Beer Blonde Extra. There's the back side. Super smashing great. Ooh la la. Like you do. So yeah. I um, don't know anything about I don't know anything about this brewery <laughs> or beer or whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack it open. It's a multi-awarded beer. Melbourne, Tokyo, Paris and Londres. Um, Bella Rose draws its in inspiration from the 1950s era, era. A period while beer was intensely hoppy and stout, stoutly reflect, refreshing. No. The use of an innovative cocktail of three hops brings to Bella Rose a distinctive aroma of citrus and lychee. Um, Bella Rose, a superior, uh, refreshing beer. There you go. That's all I know. So, crack her open. Like we do. There is plain, plain crown. Smells, there's maybe a hint of lemon there, hint of malt, tiny hint of sweet, one of them kind of like diet crackers with a little bit of yoghurt on top, you know the ones, no, nah. no nah, you don't, because you're not on a diet most probably, smells, smells okay, smells quite sweet. So let's whack her in like we do. And she's come out quite quite a, quite a lot of carbonation. Uh gold, clear gold colour, as you can see there. I put the light, oh, I don't know, there. Quite a clear clear gold looking type of beer. See what we get from the it's the same, pretty harmless, characterless um, type of aroma. Very generic, lagery, sweet malt aroma to it. So, boys and girls, the only way to find out if this is any good, or, you know, if, if she's any good, is, you know, get a taste of it. So, cheers. Mmm, very sweet. It's quite a sweet. On the front end, I'm greeted by a sweetness. Not any bitterness. Maybe a hint of honey there. Um, a little bit of honey, a little bit of lemon. Um, it feels a little bit syrupy in the mouth. It does feel that type of syrupy character to it. Going again. Hmm. A kind of syrupy texture, very sweet, a little bit of citrus to it. It's not what I expected. I was expected because it smelled just like a normal one of the meal lager, if you know what I mean. But it is, it's, it's you know, it's quite different in the taste compared to you know a normal lager, as it's very sweet, um, treacle type of texture to this feels quite thick um, yeah yeah it's not bad at all one one more for the road <clears throat> as I say
Mm. There's always to say. There's always to say about it. There you go, boys and girls. Uh, Bella Rose, give it a whirl if you want. I think lager drinkers will love this one. You know, see, you know, proper lager drinkers. Um, would I buy this one again? You know what? I most probably would. <laughs> On that score, thanks for watching. Murder me in the comments and everything else. Cheers.